We have a lot to get to here on GMA3. <laughs> and of course, ABC chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jen Ashen, helping us track all of the major developments, including this big number. We are watching nine, as in the national COVID-19 daily case average, now nearly nine times higher than it was in mid-June. All 50 states now reporting high or substantial community transmission. So Dr. Jen, as we see this Delta variant surging throughout yep. the country, uh, we're concerned about a lot of people, but especially the younger, unvaccinated population, kids, some of them getting sick enough to be hospitalized. Right, and again, once again in this pandemic, we have to look at different populations differently. So let's look specifically at the under 12 age group. What do we know at this point? Pfizer study is looking at up to 4,500 children ages 5 to 11 from multiple countries, including here in the United States. In terms of results, their phase two and three initial clinical trials results are expected at some point in September. I know to pediatricians and parents that is not soon enough. Then they're going to be looking at children, babies and toddlers ages six months to two years. Those clinical trials results are expected later in the fall, October or November. And the big news yesterday, the American Academy of Pediatrics is imploring the FDA to grant emergency use authorization with the existing data for the age 5 to 11 age group while they continue to monitor in these additional groups because they are so desperate to get this younger age group vaccinated because of exactly what you were saying. We're seeing higher rates of children getting sick. Okay, we're seeing that and Delta is the dominant strain now. Put two and two together. Does this mean that Delta is more severe? Not necessarily. And we remember, we have to remember what we don't know. We don't know if the Delta variant is actually producing worse or more more severe disease in children. However, some numbers here, anything, even a small increased risk in this population when it affects a huge number of people, that's gonna translate to a significant number of children affected and that's what we're seeing right now. All right, Dr. Jen, we appreciate yep. it. Thank you very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.